Uh, good evening, good evening, guys. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. Good How you doing? Hi. Hi, Jorge. Good evening, Cristia. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, Miss. Hello. Good evening. How you doing, guys? Are, are you doing all right? Are you doing fine? Good evening. Sleepy. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Monday. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. But you're resting, right? So you're supposed to be resting on the second. Yes. Well, at least, at least I will I will say that we're not having classes on the second because we don't normally do. Uh, but you know, we're gonna give you some confirmation tomorrow. Uh, but guys, is anybody going to work on the second? Are you working on the holiday? Yes, I will sure. work. Oh, wow. All day, all the day, all, all day. Wow. Okay. In my case, it's free. Yeah, right. Because for most uh, places, um, that's going to be off, like a day off. But, but I understand that if you need to work on a holiday, so it is like double payment. So not bad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. It's a good thing about work these days yeah so you gotta compensate a little bit so it's not bad yeah uh mr gavarrete good evening thank you so much for joining diana hello guys really nice to see you uh thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining hello 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 mm -hmm. so guys we get started with unit number three today i'm sorry with week number three today um so we have like a couple of things to be checking on uh, but just a quick question. Um, were you able to complete the exercises in the platform? Or let's see, let's see, don't the problemas, guys. Did it, um, I don't know, give you some issues or did you complete them? I have some did issues you? with the platform, teacher. Uh, my, unit one day. or unit two? Unit two. So we're still in unit, okay. Okay, okay, give me just a second. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, because th that is really important, you know, and, and if we can like later, that would be even better. And uh, is there any specific exercise it is giving you issues with? The, the tier, tier conditional. Oh, uh, we are going to check on that today. Okay, um, so we're gonna check a structure today so you can complete the exercises, no worries. Um, because probably we are just missing that part, you know, of a structure, how to make them, how to put them together. So that is exactly the topic that we will be covering today. Uh, Maria Elena, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Mm, okay, and I think, hi, Miss, how you doing? So uh, guys, uh, that is exactly if you have the same difficulty, you know, or the same issue with unit number three, sorry, unit number two and conditional number three, that is the one we are going to check today. So no worries, no worries. Um, when the time comes, uh, we can also double check the exercises in the platform to make sure that you got them right. Um, so guys, let's get started with today's session. Uh, I have just like a, a little question here to, to spice uh, today's session up, all right? And this is more like a debate topic. So I have here video games are a waste of time. Uh, I don't know guys whether you agree with this one or you disagree but uh, you gotta tell us, right? So you gotta tell us a couple of ideas you may have on video games. Guys, are you fan of video games first? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. No fun, but I like playing in some games. Okay, uh, phone games, cell phone games, computer games. Cell phone games, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, not video games, yes. but cell phone games. Are you into Candy Crush? Play, PlayStation, teacher. I, I was so, playing. You're into PlayStation. Yeah, the PlayStation 2. What's your favorite? What's your favorite game? Or I don't know. Yeah, game, I would say. Video game. War of Gods, I remember. Oh, okay. I know that one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> any other? 
Are you into FIFA, PES, something like that? No, I have um like adventure plays. I I have one about the Looney Tunes. <laughs> And oh. yes, and I have another that raccoon, and the the name is Sly Cooper, and it's for is 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 about adventure. Okay, sounds interesting. I have never heard about them, but they sound really nice. I didn't yeah. know that you could find a video game of Looney Tunes and all of those things. <laughs> okay, guys, what about cell phone games and computer games? Uh, do you have a favorite cell phone game? Besides Free Fire, <laughs> I play Candy Crush. <laughs> okay, so Candy Crush. Okay. Oh, yeah. Candy Crush too. Okay. Uh, Wendy, I play Duolingo. Ah, Duolingo. Oh, but that is more educational, right? So it's not exactly yeah. a, a game. Okay. Have you ever gotten hooked up on a game like you get super crazy about it? Candy Crush. <laughs> okay. I spend okay, a lot of time playing that. Wow, interesting. There was a game some time ago. I don't know if it still exists, but I got super hooked up on that game that was called Farmville. So you had to make like a city. Um, yeah, and you had to play the train products. Yeah. Do you still yeah. play it? No, yeah, no, 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 not anymore. Yeah, not too. anymore. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, Christian. Yes, I I was playing that the farm bill. You don't play it anymore. No. <laughs> Why not? No. Um, I don't know. I lost my my progress, and I don't know. I I just don't play. Okay, same same here, you know. So. After like about four months that I kept playing nonstop, I was like, oh my God, what am I doing with my time? <laughs> so I stopped it, you know, but it was a lot of fun. So guys, uh, take a, guys, take a look at this question. Video games are a waste of time. Um, what would you say about video games only? Not phone games, not computer games, but just video games. Uh, do you consider that they can be a waste of time or can you learn something out of it? I think that it depends on the case. I don't think that it's a waste of time because I think that it can be a hobby mm -hmm. when with you can relax and you can spend your free time when you only work, for ah, example. Okay, okay. But I think that if we, if it's that the only thing you do, then yes, you're wasting your time. Oh, okay. So it is okay to play like what, one hour? <laughs> Mm, depends on how many things you have to do on your day. Okay, so just like a couple of minutes, that would be fine. A couple of hours if you have the, the time, uh, for example, at night. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but not like all day, because I, I know people that that's all they do, playing video games. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, also some people, you know, make money out of it. But if they don't make money, yeah, so it's just doing pretty much playing guys oh uh, what else do you agree with the about that people, i agree with the uh, okay maria elena so you mentioned that you know people i know people uh payroll uh, by play in the video games they make money yes they make money how much i mean they make so they earn some money for investors. Oh, hitting El Salvador. Yes. Oh, super <laughs> nice. Do you it's have any? Uh -huh, do you have it's any nice. idea how much they can make? I don't know, but it's only, only, it's only as a lonely because that's their job. Is their job? In, mm, okay. In, Pay vacation, pay your house, pay your car. Yeah. I mean, but it's a job, uh -huh. so okay. They must know a lot about technology and uh, programming and all those things to, you know, find some difficulties. I mean, I, I cannot play anything, guys, so <laughs> I couldn't be a really good tester. 
Okay, but wow, but in El Salvador, you can find these jobs. That's really interesting. Um, guys, uh, what would you say about this question? So uh, Jorge says that he agrees with the NF2. Um, why, why Jorge? De depends on the time that you, you are in that play. I consider one hour could be, could be fine, but maybe when you has uh, 10 years old, mm -hmm. could be, could be, could be fine that you are playing two or three hours per day, but, okay. but if you are an adult, an adult uh, is a waste, waste of the time. If you are invertir, how do you say invertir? Investing, investing. Investing more than one hour in oh, a day. Okay, investing or spending we can use. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. very interesting. Guys, do, does everybody agree with him? Um, what are your thoughts on this one? Are they a waste of time? You know, um, so, hi Silvia, hi Tatiana, good evening. Uh, Mario, good evening, thank you for joining. Um, I have had a couple of students who learn English while playing video games. So they communicated with other people in other countries um, and they spoke English nicely, super, super well. So I think it really depends on the kind of games you play as well, right? Guys, is anybody like in disagreement here? Uh, Silvia, Tatiana, what do you think about this? Mr. Bayo, what do you think about this uh, topic? Do you think it is okay to play games? Mr. Gavarrete, what do you think? Is it okay to play games? Sorry, I didn't uh, hear what about your thoughts. Mm, the question is uh, right here, like on the, on the screen, right? It says video games are a waste of time. Do you agree that, with this one? The thing that I, I I don't see anything because I guess my inner thing is is, is a maybe it's, it's a a low. No, wait a signal. second. Probably the screen just got stuck. Um, do you see my screen now? The big topic, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Nice. Yeah, that is the question. So. Oh. Video games are a waste of time. Um, do you agree with this or no? Ah, it depends. <laughs> because, okay. Uh, I think, I really think that uh, some video games uh, help to you, mm -hmm. uh, help you to maybe improve mm -hmm. some, uh, how to say it? Uh, abilities? Yes, maybe to improve some abilities. Mm -hmm. uh maybe they make you to think okay uh to, maybe to think different or yeah i guess so uh, but sometimes if uh, for sure if you have to do uh another thing more important like uh your work or a study and you mm -hmm. and you play a game instead of uh, uh, take uh, your book and study, mm -hmm. for sure it's a waste of time. Oh, okay, okay. So it is okay mm -hmm. as long as you don't, um, you use your time wisely, something like that. Something like that, yes. Okay, it's really interesting what you mentioned. So some people uh, develop abilities, right? So I saw this Minecraft, I think it was a computer game. And children, you know, are good at building stuff. So I yeah. think it's really good. I have seen that uh, there is kind of uh, teaching kids how to mm. use some uh, some instrument or something like that. And they uh, learn to, to build and uh, applications and everything. So they can I'm be sure. super creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I guess they, they try to uh, to make the the new generation with the maybe high uh, high imagination or something like that. 
Yeah, yeah, it could be. I mean, they can foster definitely their creativity. So sounds amazing. Guys, what are some good games that you recommend? You know, that where, uh, I don't know, where you can learn something. Or if it is just for fun, if it is just a hobby. So what games do you recommend that are quite, quite fine? So Diana already mentioned Candy Crush uh, for cell phones. But what about video games? Is there any game you recommend? Got a word? Uh, what's it, Jorge? I, like I think that is Mario. one of a I really like good one. Oh, Mario Bros. Okay. Mario Kart too. Mario Kart. <laughs> okay. I I remember in Little that bit place you you has to be pretty accurately. Mm -hmm. When you jump, no. Yes, with some movements to to pass to the screen. Mm -hmm. You have to be pretty ac accurate. accurate. Yes, okay, accurate. Oh, okay. So Mario Bros, Mario Cars. Yes, Tatiana. Uh, I will say maybe uh, for we just dance is a very funny video game. We used to uh, play that with my son. Uh, you will put your favorite song and you have to follow the all steps and you dance with that video game. Oh, sounds nice. I mean, to do some physical activity. Oh, okay, okay, just dance. And the other Little Big Planet. Uh, Elena, what is Little Big Planet about? I don't know how do you explain in English, but <laughs> give it a try. Try. In the you have um avatar and okay. you pass um pantallas. I don't know how do you screens say screens with different activities, mm -hmm. but it's like um a third person and roles and you have a um, characteristic your person okay you add, okay you oh. make um, uh, a zombie or you make um, a girl a boy um anything oh okay well it sounds really interesting okay so little let me see the name again i didn't I, I, catch a little big planet yes I remember another game that I really like <laughs> and I play from time to time. It is called Plantas vs. Zombies. Oh, but that is a cell phone game, right? Or is it like a video game? No, it's a cell phone game. Oh. Um, but actually they, well, I don't know if you ever go to Dream World or Dreamland now. Oh, yeah. No, I haven't. Well, they have the game on um, on a big screen, oh. <laughs> so so you can play it there too. Oh, okay, okay. Is it entertaining? Is it fun? Yes, it's really entertaining. But what do you have to do just to kill zombies? Uh, plants protect your house from the zombies. Okay. okay. Oh. I so I guess you can plan and kill. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying to figure <laughs> to figure it out. All right. All right. Sounds good. Any other game, guys, you want to recommend us to look for it or check out? I, I remember all the pictures. Which one were here? You seen we do you remember is a is a control when you you can play like ping pong with, with your oh. partner. Also in, tennis. Yes, in the same screen. Yeah, that's right. So you were supposed to use it and it uh, like uh, follows yeah. or duplicate your movements, right? Yes. Yeah, and that's right. You can play with, uh, with a partner. But the, the we still exist. Does, mm. does it exist? I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard about it. Just um, PS4 was and PS5. Ah, uh, so I don't know if we still is in the market. Yes, Marilena. 
Hi, maybe he speak whisper. A whisper was the name. Yes, I remember my son playing soccer, uh, tennis, uh, Wimot with the Wimot. Oh, and but you, uh huh. Se cortaba la pantalla en dos y podía jugar. And you can play. Oh, okay, okay. Sounds really interesting. But I think it is not like in the market anymore, right? I haven't heard about new consoles uh, out there, but who knows? Probably we will discover later. Okay, so really interesting uh, opinions, guys. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts, um, your video games or games in general. That sounds really nice. And today we're gonna just check out a little bit here over oh let me just check something here give me one second my screen just got stuck okay there we go um so we're gonna check like some vocabulary to continue and uh, guys are you good with puzzle are you good with word search yes a little bit kind of in spanish yes <laughs> in, in spanish yes no, but in English, it's the same, so no worries. <laughs> okay, Um, I believe you have the chance to select them. Okay, so here on the screen, you'll see a couple of words related to the topic before today. We have amusement, anger, contempt, disgust, embarrassment, fear, flirtatiousness, guilt, happiness, interest, love, pride, sadness shame and surprise so we, what we gotta do guys is select the words find the words circle them you know or select them so um but in your uh, if you are in the computer you will see one option that says uh, notas or notes so you can click on that one or it says anotar i'm not quite sure if it has a different name because of the update and if you are in your cell phone, you will see a pencil, like a, the icon of a pencil. You can click on that one and you will have the chance to write or to select. Thank you, Jorge is already on that. So, uh, oh, nice, you already got the first. Okay. So guys, what I want you to do is exactly what Jorge is doing. So I want you to look for the words, okay, and um, there are some options. One option is the pencil. Option number two is shapes. So pueden seleccionar figuras. You can select shapes. Um, you can select circles or you can select rectangles, right? So like this, for example. Um, so it can be easier. You can select lines. So give it a try, guys. Let's give it a go. Um, and uh, if you have no idea how to do it, let me know if you get the word and I'm going to uh, circle that for you as well. So guys, let me know if you find the option. Again, if you are in the computer, it looks like a notar, but if you are in your cell phone, let me, let me check from my phone. Mm. If you are in the cell phone, you will see something like a pencil, like here. I don't know if you can see it in my screen. You click on the pencil, you're going to have some options. One of them says pencil, arrow, color. You can select the color you want. And even you can select like a sort of arrow or something. So if you see here, I do an arrow right there. So guys, let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so you, you can just uh, try it out, fear. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure who found fear because I don't see the names, but thank you. So we already got fear. There are a lot of words.
All right, anger is out. Fear is out, love is out. Oh, okay, content. That's out too. Okay, so we got sadness. Just yes, one more S, but nice. Sadness is there. I I want to select interested, but but I can do it perfect. My oh, line. got it. Okay, no problem. So let me figure it out. Um, okay, that would be this one too. So I know, but I cannot repeat it. Wait, is is in is in. Cross, I don't know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, it doesn't let me rotate it. Hold on. Okay. So that would be this one. Interest. Okay. There you go. Uh, um, interest right there. Oh, surprise, nice. Okay, surprise. Oh, flirtatiousness, all right, nice. Amusement, okay, and you got it. Shame, oh, very nice. Okay, I see guilt. It's bright, very nice. We are just missing embarrassment and disgust. Oh, guys, you're really quick at this. So we are only missing disgust and embarrassment. Okay, I see this ghost. Oh, very nice. And I see embarrassment as well. Okay, good job. Hey guys, you're really fast at this. Very nice job. Okay, really, really good. Yes, we got them. <laughs> and I think we got them in record time. <laughs> that was really quick, you know. Okay, so we have all these words. Now let's take a look at a couple of uh, words that I don't think they are new for you, but probably they may. So let's guys um, repeat together, please. So we have amusement, repeat with me, amusement. 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 Can you give amusement. me an example of how we can use amusement? Or the word amused? Have you ever heard the word amused? No, yeah. in movies, in series, in TV programs, amuse me. <laughs> How do you heard that expression? Amusement park, like um, this part that is in La Libertad, um, the sun sunset or sunrise. I'm not sure. Sunset, sunset city, yeah. uh, a sunset park. Yes, that is an amusement park. So we have amusement or we have amuse. We have anger, right? We already checked anger and angry. We have contempt. Uh, we have disgust. We have embarrassment or embarrassed. Uh, fear, right? We have flirtatiousness or flirtatious. 
Um, guys, are you familiar with the word flir flirtatious? Not really. Not really? Um, so are you a flirtatious person? Are you flirty? Or do you normally flirt? So we have the expression flirt, right? Mm. Uh, we have guilty or guilt, happiness, interest, love, pride. So you have seen the word proud or oh, proud and pride. They are family. So they are family members right there. Sad, sadness, shame, shameful, surprise. Mm. So those are emotions. So really quick, guys, let's go over some expressions. We have a uh, disgust. Pero también está la palabra disgusting, right? Uh, embarrassment or embarrass. Uh, flirtatious or flirt. Or we can also use the expression flirty. Guys, are you flirty? Are you flirtatious? Son como coquetos. Do you flirt with people? Coquetean? Do you normally flirt? No, teacher, I'm bad on that. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot flirt. No. So you're Depends not a flirtatious person? I'm sorry? Depend of the case. Oh, for example? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's a joke. <laughs> when you want to get something. <laughs> okay. So flirty is that, right? Flirt is the verb, the action, right? Like coquetear. Then we have flirty or flirtatious, que es como coqueto. So I am flirty, I am flirtatious, and flirtatiousness, que es la coquetería. So we have all these words right here, right? Um, when you I mean, need a, a favor. Uh -huh, when you need a favor <laughs> and just start blinking, closing your eyes, smiling. So yeah, I guess everybody gets a little bit flirty. Okay, um, we have guilt or guilty, right? And uh, happiness, you have happy, happiness, uh, pride, proud. Those are, I guess, the most common words that we have right there. Now, um, guys, uh, talking about, oh, and we have contempt, right? That is like happy, kind of happiness, but people sometimes don't really believe in happiness. So they say, oh, I'm okay, I'm content, right? So I am okay, I'm fine. Um, guys, do you have normally, do you, um, I don't know, show any of these emotions, any of these feelings? No. <laughs> do you show happiness very often? Yes. Do you show love, love to your family, flirtatiousness? Do you show any feelings? Yeah. It's yes, more right. yes. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. <laughs> it was not here. <laughs> okay, a little bit of sarcasm. Okay, anything else? Surprise. Yes, surprise. Okay, so sarcasm, surprise. Okay, we have a lot, right? We definitely yeah. have a lot. Guys, today we're going to be talking a little bit about emotional intelligence. Um. We have a psychologist here. <laughs> we are going to use Diana a lot. But uh, that is not the idea. The idea is just to work on some vocabulary that can help us, right? Talk about some topics. Uh, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not going to pretend to be a psychologist. So we are just going to get familiar with some vocabulary. And I found something that I consider can be quite funny. Uh, or maybe not funny, but interesting. And uh, it is knowing if you have uh, emotional intelligence or not. So it is obviously a computer-based uh, exercise, right? So this is like a quiz online and it gives you a result, okay? But the idea is just to work on vocabulary, right? Uh, to check if you understand the questions, to check if you understand what it says, and of course, to have a little fun, you know, reading your personality a little bit. So um, we are going to rely a lot also on Diana. I'm sorry, Diana, I'm going to make you work. <laughs> okay, guys, look at the, uh, click on the link, please, that you have right here. Um, and it is going to direct you to a page. 
And in that page, you have uh, 15 questions, right? So part of the question says, how emotional intelligent are you? Um, probably we have never heard the word emotional intelligence. Maybe we have no idea what it is and it's fine. It's okay. We are going to answer the statements uh, based on how often we have those feelings. Number one, for example, says I can recognize my emotions as I experience them. And we have not at all, rarely, sometimes, often, very often. So you click on the one that is um, most similar to your day-to-day -day or daily um, response, right? Or daily emotions. Number two says, I lose my temper when I feel frustrated. Guys, do you feel your temper? Se enojan? Do you get angry? Yeah. Uh, do you like, uh -huh, so I lose my temper? Okay, <clears throat> if it is rarely, okay, so you select. If it is very often, so you select. So I lose my temper. Number three, guys, says people uh, have told me that I am a good listener. So does it apply for you? Do you hear that very often or not really? So just select the, the answer, please, number three. Number four says, I know how to calm myself down when I feel anxious or upset. Last time we were talking about counting to 10. Let you go one, two, three, and you relax and you calm down. So I know how to calm myself when I feel anxious mm, or not. <laughs> so rarely, I mean, not at all, sometimes, often. So you select on the answer that applies for you. Number five says, I enjoy organizing groups. So same thing, you select the correct answer. Number six, I find it hard to focus on something over in the long term. So um, it's difficult to concentrate. Uh, number seven, I find it difficult to move on when I feel frustrated, like to continue working on something or doing something, right? And so we go on for the rest. Guys, I'll give you like three minutes, three, four minutes. So you can work on this one and then we check answers, right? Then we can check um, what score you got. So I'll give you some minutes. When we end it, teacher, we give continues or what do we do? Um, yes, when you finish the test, there is an option over there at the bottom that says calculate my total. So you click on calculate my total, you okay. will see the number. And in the part below, you have a score interpretation. I'm sure that you can do it better than this. <laughs> I'm sure you can help us a little bit, uh, but yes, uh, like uh, supposedly you can get your score right there, like how okay. um, emotionally intelligent we are. So mm -hmm. that is the test right there. So guys, I'll give you like two more minutes.
Guys, I don't know if you are familiar with number 14. I struggle to build rapport Estos with others. Estos son los resultados principales de la I'm sorry. So remember that a struggle is like, tengo dificultad con, right? I have difficulties with something, so I struggle to build rapport with others. Like me cuesta um, llevarme bien con otras personas. Or it's difficult for me um, entablar una conversación o una relación with other people. So that is number 14. I struggle to build rapport with others. Guys, please let me know when you finish. Uh, let us know your score. If it is um, the first, the second, or the third description, right? Um, just to share a little bit of that. I have 53%. Oh, 53%. So I believe you are in the middle. Your emotional intelligence is okay. That one, yes. right? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, sounds really nice. I had the same, <laughs> I had the same score. Yeah, okay, okay. Guys, what is your score? How much did you get? Did anybody got? Uh, did anybody get up for um upper than fifty six? Fifty six and upper. Uh, Claudia, how much did you get? 50, teacher. 60. 50. Oh, 50. Okay, so that yes, would be in the exactly. middle. Who said 60? I think I heard somebody saying 60. Diana, how much did you get? 50. Wow, oh, Maria Elena got 66. Oh, oh Diana, you got 61. So that is... Yeah. Oh my God, you're an emotional intelligent person. According to the description, it says you have great relationships and you probably find that people approach you for advice. Is that for, is that for real? Do people get to you for advice? Well, I work on that. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's I your so. job. Okay, yeah, it's your job, right? No, but in, in general, yes, my, my friends also do it and my family. <gasps> and not because you're a psychologist. No, even before I was. Ah, okay. Okay, nice. Super nice. Jorge, I'm sorry. What is your score? 55. Oh, okay. Okay. So it is almost in the last part. All right. Nice. So guys, this is supposed to be emotional intelligence, but the question is, what is emotional intelligence, right? How can we define it? What is it used for? Uh, probably some of you have heard the expression, but probably for some, this is something completely new. So for us to get into this part and to work a little bit with listening, I have this short video to share. Give me one second. I think the video is easier than the previous ones. It has cartoons <laughs> and an animated version. So um, it's called... What is emotional intelligence? Guys, let's do the same. No subtitles, all right? I'm going to give you some minutes because last time I discovered uh, you like to work listening on your own. You prefer to work it alone. So I'll give you some minutes, watch the video, and then we share what you understood from the video, all right? So I'll give you five minutes, guys. Watch the video, please. Oh, and no subtitles, so try not to play some subtitles or captions. Okay, but my psychology say is uh, manage your emotion and understand yes. others. Okay, okay. Yeah, super nice. Actually, that's in general or the summary of emotional intelligence. So let's watch the video just to get some words, some vocabulary to change your listening, right? You may take notes and then we check it together. So let's go for it, guys.
Um, guys, how you doing there? Are you finished or do you need more time? We are not going to try to understand 100%, right? Finish. Okay, very nice. Yeah, don't try to get like 100%, that's the most important ideas. So guys, um, if you watch this video and you paid attention and you compare with what you know, I just have two questions for you that we're going to try to answer in groups. So question number one says, what is an example of subordinates using emotions to manipulate others? Have you ever been in a situation that people try to manipulate you or try to get advantage of you or advantage of a situation there? And number two, what is emotional intelligence? You kind of get, get the idea from the video. And is it helpful? Uh, is it a helpful skill when dealing with conflicts? Do you think that it's important to um, use or develop uh, emotional intelligence when we have problems or conflicts at work? Or not really? So guys, we have only these two questions. I'm going to give you some minutes so you can go in groups, you can discuss them especially the part of examples. If you have some examples of subordinates uh, or people, you know, trying to get something or manipulating, so that would be nice if you can share them with the rest. So give me a moment. I'm going to ask you guys to join the rooms and there you go, guys. There you receive the invitation. We have five minutes to go share, compare, right? Um, it doesn't have to be a dictionary definition, just try to give us um, some ideas and then we come back. So five minutes, guys, let's go. Let's go, let's go.
already guys thank you so much for coming back so how did it go were you able to share a couple of ideas with um emotional intelligence or something oh diana i hadn't seen your camera is are you wearing an outfit a what an outfit uh, is that like a sort of yes that's that's why i didn't put the camera because oh, i had to dress up that's amazing but and my work <laughs> who are you maleficent oh uh, let me take it off the blur <laughs> oh nice you look so great Diana. yeah <laughs> you look I amazing yeah. yes i like it did yes, you make but... <laughs> the horns or the car no. did you make it yourself no i buy it they were selling in dollar city oh yeah, but, but it looks really cool you know <laughs> thanks I, I i didn't have the time to to change and clean my hair yeah, my yeah. face <laughs> no worries but you look really nice yeah i was like because today is like the third oh yeah the 31st right so i just thought oh maybe that's a like a sort of custom or something <laughs> okay guys did you dress up as well no no, no. Yet, but I, <laughs> our jobs are boring i held a friend to to make up oh so you put them some makeup okay the, but did the company offer like a sort of prize a reward or something yes there is a prize i think is 150. wow yes. really good money on that for the best custom yes and okay. they, and they have second and third in their place too. And Did your have, friend win? Any? We don't know. It, I think it's tomorrow or or maybe on Wednesday they going to say who is the winner. Oh well, but a hundred, a hundred fifty, not that bad, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's you have to be like sweating all day long, but <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> So it's definitely worth the price. Okay. Okay, guys. Nice. So coming back into this part of emotional intelligence, you had these two questions, right? Um, like what is emotional intelligence? Is it helpful? And what are some examples that you can come up with? Um, is there any example that you were able to share with your classmates, guys, of manipulation? Like with number one, uh, what is the next? Yes. I thought it. No, no, no worries, no worries. No, sorry, uh, go for it. On my group, Jorge and I, I forget the name of my Maria Elena. And Maria Elena, yes. <laughs> they share uh, some examples. Maria Elena shared us that she have a um, co worker that has uh, lupus and oh. that she use the sickness to to get they more help uh -huh, to so? sorry no, no, no. sorry oh, okay no yes to to get like more help from their boss or their class well, no classmate co-workers co uh -huh. yes and oh. only that Jorge also also shared something, but Jorge, if you wanted, uh, I I really don't want to share. But <laughs> oh. oh, but but if you don't feel yeah, comfortable, that's all right. It's, it's just an example. Like I imagine in other companies has. Uh, sometimes um, my coworkers try to to tell me to to get benefit benefits like go out early in the work in the in the work mm -hmm. and that i have to tell to the to the boss like you face your boss um on yes, behalf right? of the team like, Yes, I can talk with the boss to to mediate or or mediate mediar. Uh, to like like negotiate. Negotiate to go, go out early. Oh, okay. Do you do that? 
Yes, I can. Oh, but do you do that? <laughs> do you normally uh, ask for that? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. If I can, it's possible. You will go for that. Okay. Yes, Tatiana, what else? There are a lot of things, I guess, happening in companies. I was sharing with my with my team uh, about a co-worker. She's a girl, but she's a really poker face because um, with the with the, the other co-workers, she always bullying and other people. But when she's talking with the boss, she looks like, no, I'm a victim because I am a depressive person or what? something like that. Uh, she's very she's very she's a two-faced yes so she's a two-faced person oh that's so bad on her okay yes and and i think i really have to breathe ev every day because she's really mm, annoying yes she's very annoying when you are when you are around for a uh, closing close to her she's always laughing without any reason and she's always trying to to bother another person i don't know okay. who, but the boss it uh, looks like he he don't care or he mm -hmm. he don't realize about that but everybody knows like uh, who is her but, well, that, that is the good thing that you know her real face, right? But it's so bad. So she's a two-faced person. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that must be really annoying to work with her. All right, guys, anything else you can share with us? Uh, Silvia, Claudia, when did you have like any partnered? Well, um, Mr. Villeda, tell us. <laughs> Do you have any partnered? Olga, hi, good evening. So Nelson, um, Hi, any story of manipulation you can tell us? Um, yeah, yeah. What happened? Uh, Sometime ago, I have a boss. He told me, uh, if you don't, so how do you say that? Compare the share. Mm -hmm. If you don't share your time with your 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 with your, with your partners, mm. you have to do the you have to gain. No, you have to come mm -hmm. one 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 hour early to do the breakfast. Mm, wait. <laughs> I want to I want to understand this a little bit more. Um, where do you work first? So uh, was, I was working in Cigarrera uh, Morazan. Where? Cigarrera Morazan. Okay. Did you make food or something? Yeah, because because uh, in that job, uh -huh. everybody goes to to the root in the morning. For example, okay. Pegs, Six, six, five, three. Okay, oh, super early. Yeah. So in the afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, the partners try to make jokes, fun, tell history about the rules. Mm, okay. So, but, but I, I, in, in that moment, I was studying the university. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I finished my route and go to university. Okay. So I don't share with my, with my partner. All right. So my boss in that moment tried to manipulate me. So if you, if I, if I not check with my partner, I will buy the breakfast for tomorrow. So you need a like to participate in their jokes and the activities, but was it in your schedule or was it out of your schedule? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, but why? That sounds, I don't know, kind of insane because it was not even your schedule. Oh, okay. But but I understand that you're no longer in that company, right? No, no, I, I work oh. for another company. Why not? 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was like, what, what, what happened with the breakfast then? Oh, okay, okay, good to, to hear that, but it's kind of strange. Okay, guys, take a look at the following conversation because here we have something related to this kind of complex, uh, you know, emotional intelligence and everything. So it says right here, read the conversation. Um, Edward is a manager from the quality department at an email um, customer support agency. He is discussing the results of a quality evaluation with an employee who got a low score. I don't know if in your company you have like feedback or coaching sessions, right? So you get to your supervisor and you start discussing your numbers. So um, with Tatiana, Diana, since you're in call centers in that industry, yeah. oh, okay, that's super common for you. Uh, to talk about your metrics, right? So this is kind of like that. Um, and we have Edward and we have my Mr. Villeda. Now that I have you, I want to listen to your voice. <laughs> I haven't heard much of you. So help us please read Edward, like the first guy who appears here. Um, and uh, let me see, let me see. Hi, Norma. Norma, help us read uh, Mike, please. Okay, teacher. Thank you so much. So, Mr. Villeda, whenever you're ready. Let me see the, the, oh, the conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, If it is not big enough, I think you're in your cell phone, so you can pinch it, you can like zoom it, right? Um, yeah. to make it a little bit bigger. Mike, right? Oh, Edward. You're Edward, yes. Okay. Let me try your file. This is your five month in the company, right? Yes, if you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, this is your quality score. This quality is very loud. Let's take a careful and find out your average opportunity. It is my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. You have times are excellent. So we only need to figure out how to help with your quality. But sir, my team is also helpful. If they have listening, to my question, I will have now how to answer the customer issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of ready. You will have gotten a higher score if you have been updating and recent pressures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Uh, I know, sir, I haven't. They are boring. Mm. Then, let me finish checking your relation and then will you get through with the training department so they can give you a, an interact digital copy of the man. Thank you so much for that. All right, so obviously it's just like a coaching, uh, coaching session, right? It's like, oh, you did this, but you should have done this differently. So they are talking about everything is past. If you take a look, it says, um, it's my, my manager's fault. Obviously, the person is blaming somebody else. So it's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, uh, I would have had a better score. Oh, but that was in past. We cannot change that. Uh, my team is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I would have known how to answer the customer issue. We're talking about past events. So uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about this part. And guys, uh, grammatically talking, this is what we call conditional number three. Um, so conditional number three or third conditional is to talk about past events. Um, it is not that difficult, but just let's try to keep, um, you know, uh, try to follow the, the, the structure and you'll be fine. So third condition is for unreal past. Um, or things that we normally regret. So we can use it for regrets, or we can use it for um, unreal past. What is unreal past? Easy, guys. 
things that we wish were different or had been different. How can I express ideas in past or regrets? Imagine, for example, um, it happened to me. I have a regret right now. So I was eating a tortilla. <laughs> I was, I have braces, right? Um, so I have braces. I was eating a toasted tortilla. Uh, so put them together, you know. Um, so I had these braces on. I had the toasted tortilla. And suddenly my brace was like, it cracked. So it broke, right? And then I start with the regret. So what do you think, guys, can be the regret? The regret is things de las que yo me arrepiento, right? So things that I say, oh my God, no, why did I do that? And my regret was, if I hadn't eaten, if I haven't beaten the tortilla, I wouldn't have problems. Uh, I wouldn't have had any problem with the brace. So what are we going to use? Okay. We use conditional number one. We are going to use past perfect. Um, you just stick to the structure and you'll be just fine. So we're gonna use past perfect and then we are going to use would. We are going to use should. And we are going to use, we're gonna use present perfect. Present perfect and that's it. So this way I can express uh, regrets, wishes, or unreal things in past. How can I express mine? If, if I hadn't, because this is past perfect and past perfect is had plus uh, past participle, if I had not beaten the food or the tortilla in this case, I would have not broken my brace mm, and that's it. So what am I expressing with this structure? What am I expressing with conditional number three? I am expressing number one and real past. So this is algo que ya pasó, que ya no lo puedo cambiar, but this is my wish. Algo de lo que me arrepiento, right? Algo que pudo ser diferente, something that could have been different. So just like this, have, plus past participle, that is per, past perfect, and then would, or should, or could, that is also used, plus present perfect, have, and then past participle. I can make this shorter. For example, instead of saying have not, I can say haven't, and this is negative. Instead of saying had not, I can perfectly say hadn't. If I hadn't beaten uh, my food, I would have, I would, uh, wait, wait, no, 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 I'm making a mistake here. I'm sorry about that. So this is negative way. Okay, I wouldn't have broken my brace. There you go. So I can also make it a little bit um, shorter, right? By using the contraction here. So this is exactly what we're gonna do, guys. Um, and imagine, for example, uh, let's think about, activities that could have been different. So guys, do you have any regrets? Imagine, for example, that you get um, a stomach cake, right? Because you ate that much. So, and then you say, oh, si no hubiera comido eso. If I hadn't eaten that, right? Something could have been different. Or for example, that, um, what is another regret that is common, super common? Or for example, when you oversleep, right? Because because of the alarm, no so no, or because you forget it, or I mean, there are like a lot of different reasons here. Que mas, de que nos arrepentimos like day by day, guys. When you drink, well, no day by day, but <laughs> <laughs> hangovers, a hangover. Okay. Oh yes, like next day that you're vomiting is like, oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> okay, so when you get a hangover, or your friend gets a hangover, what else? What when you, mess? when you, uh, see your, your cell phone, 
until too late and the next day you you don't want to wake up teacher ah okay okay um so we can use oversleeping right that is a stay, waking up late or we can use a stay up late mm -hmm. Stay up late, that is desvelarse, right? What else? Ah. If rain and, and I... You get wet. I did... Uh, no. ¿Cómo decir? ¿Que llueve? Y no llevamos sombría. Mm, yes, yes, if, yes, yes. If rain... So, get, and you forget your umbrella. So you get wet. Se get moja, up. right? You get wet. Yeah. Uh -huh. So get you get wet. wet. Okay, that's very common too. Or guys, the most common, you run out of money. So suddenly you saw a beautiful, I don't know, blouse or just food or drinks, I don't know. And you're like, oh my God, me gasté lo de la quinzana. I spent the money that I was supposed to be, you know, um, uh, saving for next month. I run out of money. So what is the regret? What would be the regret? Uh, imagine we have an indigestion here. Guys, let's do the first together and then you help me with the rest. So imagine that I have a terrible stomach, all right? Uh, because I ate too much. So what would be the most common uh, regret? If I... So uh, remember right. past perfect if is I, siempre voy a agregarle had. had. If I had negative, if I hadn't. Mm -hmm. Eaten. 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 So if I hadn't eaten, eaten. so much. So much. <laughs> uh -huh. Or when you are allergic to, to some food or, uh, I don't know, carbohydrates or something. So if I hadn't eaten so many pupusas, right? If I hadn't eaten all the food, if I hadn't eaten the hamburger or that hot dog, if I hadn't eaten so many pupusas, uh, what could have been different? ¿Qué pudo haber cambiado? What could have been different? So I can express, I wouldn't have, so this doesn't have to be negative, negative. We can see some examples that can be positive. But because of the first scenario, oh if I hadn't eaten so many pupusas, I wouldn't have a stomachache. Mm, okay. But here, if you take a look, necesito presente perfecto. So I need have más el pasado participio de tener un dolor de estómago, que es have. I wouldn't have had. Suena raro. It sounds kind of weird. But with the time, you will make it, you know, work. So um, I wouldn't have had. Estamos hablando del pasado. Or I wouldn't have eh, gotten. I wouldn't have gotten a stomachache. Or no hubiera terminado en el hospital in case you go to a hospital. So I wouldn't have ended up in the hospital. So in case this is like an intoxication or something. So pretty much we express regrets this way. So just remember, have or negative hadn't. Past participle. And the second part, um, we can use would, podemos usar should, podemos usar could. It is not here, but we can use it as well. And present perfect. That present perfect is have and past participle of the verb. So guys, um, take a look at the following, right? We have oversleeping, staying up late, hangovers, getting wet, and run out of money. And let's try to make some examples of regrets that we may have, but lo vamos a hacer en grupo, guys. We're going to do it together para que sea más fácil. So it can be easier y se pueden ir ayudando. So you can help each other as well. Um, so I'll give you a couple of minutes. Uh, here you have some situations that you can use to make your sentences. Oh my God, where are you? Okay, this, you this situation or other situation? Hmm, you can use these as scenarios, but if you have a, a better idea, good, go for it, no problem. Si hay otro regret, otro arrepentimiento más grande, <laughs> go for it, no problem. <laughs> uh, like when you have an accident, right? So no problem, that is totally fine. So you can use these or others. Guys, we have from five to 10 minutes to complete it. And then we come back. Pueden hacerlo juntos. You can do it together. It's easier.
Hi, María Elena. Hi, Olga. Creo que la sacó, ¿verdad, María Elena? It kicked yes. you out. Ah, ok, ok. But no worries. Eh, Ol veo que Olga está por acá. So, Olga, no sé si ya trabajó las sentences para que las compartamos eh, y las trabajemos um, con María Elena. Sí, solo. Ah, ok. Ok, perfect. Me so, girls. La última. Ah, vaya, no problem, no problem. Se so, pueden quedarse acá. You can stay here. Uh, mientras el internet se le. Charlie. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> While the internet uh, gets a little better. So here you have okay. some scenarios. No son necesariamente que you need to include them, but here you have some ideas, right? Like, ¿qué pudo haber sido diferente? What could have been different? O cuál es el arrepentimiento? When you oversleep, when you have a hangover, when you get wet because you forget your umbrella, or when you run out of money. Se queda sin dinero in any moment, right? So, um, si tiene ya alguna, eh, Marilena, I mean, compártenselas con Olga, intenten armarlas juntas, try to put them together, y les ven unos minutitos. Let me check the groups. Ok. Marilena, yo tengo el ejemplo acerca de... Our sleep. El ejemplo de cómo? The our sleep or stay late. Mm. De desvelar será esa. No? Sí. No, ese es de dormir mucho. Our sleep. Um, Estoy up late. Ah, no, cuando uno que se queda sin, el, sin poner la alarma. Uh -huh. Vaya, mi ejemplo dice: If I haven't slept, is if I hadn't slept so much, I couldn't have been late to my work. And the other example about the hangover. Say, if I hadn't had too much to drink, I couldn't be with this ugly hangover. And the other example about the get with. Is if I hadn't gotten wet, I wouldn't have gotten the flu. You? Yo no hice ninguno. No he hecho ninguno. No hizo ninguno. Vaya, a mí me falta la última, la voy a trabajar ahorita. La última es sobre qué? Lo que escribió la teacher ahí en. En los ejemplos, ¿puede ser esa o puede ser otra? Mm, captura. Run out of money. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Tercer. If I don't buy a dress, uh -huh. I don't run up money. Yes. In my case, I I have. If I have made a budget, I wouldn't have run out of money. Quien más está acá? Claudia, Alma, Raquel, Mario, y no. Yo no estaba aquí, me sacó y me metieron en esto. <risa> Ok. Bueno, nosotras ya trabajamos los ejemplos, pero lo hicimos en base a lo que la teacher escribió. No sé si usted tiene algo diferente. Yo, yo, yo hice uno diferente. If I hadn't drive without license, I wouldn't got a ticket. Ah, ok. <risa> <risa> yes. Good Para que no nos den. Uh, girls, how you doing here? So, como les fue con tercer condicional? Do you find it complicated? Do you find it confusing? 
Mm. Ya lo completamos, teacher. You already completed that one? Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Nice. Nice, nice. So, let's just go back to this part. Okay, Um. so just remember, normally I am going to follow this structure and you're going to be fine. Have a past participle, right? Then comma and the next sentence includes would, includes could. I don't normally write could because it's very similar, should, and then plus have, plus the past participle form of the verb. So it is long, probably that's why lo encontramos como un poco complicada because it's un poco más larga than the rest. But, and again, remember that we are expressing ideas que son arrepentimientos, they are regrets, pero yo no lo puedo cambiar. I cannot change it anymore. Um, so, solamente puedo hablar de opciones que pudo haber sido diferente, but there's not much I can do, right? So, guys, que, what examples do you have? What examples were you able to write? I have I, one. Okay, 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 let's go for it. Let's go for it. If I hadn't drive without license, I wouldn't got a ticket. No, okay, okay. So, um, if I hadn't, eh, solamente cambiamos el verbo a pasado participio. If I hadn't <laughs> driven, mm -hmm, I wouldn't, y le vamos a agregar have. I wouldn't have gotten the ticket. Creo que solo nos faltó por ahí el have, but very nice. Okay, that's... Pues that's sería the, gotten. Got, se puede got. You can say got. Got or gotten. So if I hadn't, if I hadn't driven without a license, uh, I wouldn't have uh, gotten the ticket or I wouldn't have got the ticket. Ambas están bien. Both are fine. But that's nice, really, really good. Anybody else? Do you have more examples? Sure. I, I do. Have... Sorry, Tati. No, dale, dale. No, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Me acabo de sentir, you know, like, chavo del ocho. <laughs> Ni a Florinda después de ustedes, after you. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> okay, so Tati and then Diana. Let's go with you, Tatiana. Uh, teacher, I, I make this example if i hadn't swam 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 after eight i wouldn't have an indige indigestion if i hadn't uh, swam after eight i wouldn't have uh okay i mean they just indigestion. But okay. I wouldn't have. Um, no, in this, in the, just, okay. Uh, solo que nos falta un verbo. If you take a look, incluye have sin cambios. It's the one we have here. Pero me hace falta el pasado participio. This is why. I, I le voy a agregar un had had. extra. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't have had. No hubiera tenido, right? I wouldn't have had. Okay. Nice. Really good example. What else, guys? What do you have? Uh, I have one teacher. Okay. If I hadn't drunk so much yesterday at the party, I wouldn't have had this hangover today. Oh, very nice. Okay, so if I hadn't drunk so much at the party yesterday, uh -huh, I wouldn't. Vaya, Diana, de los compañeros no vas <laughs> hablando. <laughs> I wouldn't From have real life. Had this hangover okay Eso so is, me representa. a real a real regret you know <laughs> okay just like I tell us what do you have okay i have if i hadn't gotten wet i couldn't have gotten the flu oh very nice okay if i hadn't gotten wet okay i wouldn't have gotten the flu. Oh, okay, okay, yes, that's right, exactly. So if I hadn't gotten wet, even we can include a lot of things here. If I hadn't forgotten my umbrella, I wouldn't have gotten the flu. 
if I hadn't walked under the rain, I wouldn't have uh, gotten the flu. Okay, very nice, really good. Uh, anybody else? If I hadn't watched so many series, mm -hmm. I would I could, could not. I wouldn't. Uh -huh. I wouldn't have oversleep today. Okay, series if I last, hadn't, last if night, I so. hadn't <laughs> watched so many series, I wouldn't have overslept today. Okay, nice. Yes, sounds really good. So nice, guys. Really, really good job on that. So pretty much remember, esto solamente es para regret, arrepentimientos, and things in past que ya no se pueden cambiar. There is a little something con esta parte de acá because most of the examples son negativos here. Pero no significa that they can be only negative. Now, ¿qué sucede si mi oración se convierte en positiva? Uh, for example, would have. Like if you say, si me hubieras llamado, yo hubiera ido. If you had called me, I would have gone. So this part, would have, could have, should have, uh, in positive sentences, se hace más corto. Too. So, es bien común que en vez de escuchar would have, vayan a escuchar the next. I'm going to make this a little shorter. And there you go. So, that is would have. And there we have could have. And this one right here. Okay. So, guys, vamos a pronunciarlo because uh, cambia un poquito como se lee. So, this part is would have. So repeat with me, please. Would have. Good have. Would have. Okay. Good have. Could have. Could have. Could have. And con should, should have. Should have. Mm -hmm. So would have, could have, and should have. So I can say, for example, si me hubiera llamado, hubiera ido. If you had called me, I would have gone. I should have gone. I could have gone. So could have, right? Uh, solo hacemos eh, la contracción, we just made the contraction, y van a escuchar muchísimo eh, esto en vez de would have. So we listen to could have, would have, should have a lot. So that is the pronunciation right here. Eh, questions, guys? Preguntas here? Questions with this one? No, teacher. Okay. Okay, <laughs> it worries me, guys, that you don't have questions. Okay, um, give me one second. I have just one exercise from your material that we're going to work, and we'll be finishing with that activity. So give me a sec. All right, in your book, in page number 23, so you have these third conditional examples, right, or sentences. So let me share this with you. It says here, how to use third conditional. So tenemos pretty much the structure, past perfect, would have, past participle, to describe a situation in the past that didn't happen or to imagine its results. Like uh, if he had sent the files on time, the shipping order would have been, wouldn't have been delayed. Um, so, and it says too that third conditional expresses sorrow or regret for an event in the past, right? Es lo que decíamos que es un regret. So nos sentimos mal. We feel really bad because that happened. Um, so in this page, guys, you have six exercises. And it says here, complete the third with the third conditional sentences. So um, yeah, we have five minutes. I think we can complete it in five. Or uh, let me see, I'm going to give you one. But that has the part of the platform that I can also. Uh, okay, okay, much better. So, revisemos. Let's take a look at it. Así de una sola vez, you know. We kill two birds with a stone. Um, so, guys, uh, I'm going to give you some uh, minutes. O los hacemos juntos, if that is better. So I think we can work yeah. on them together. So yeah, together. you know, we set in the platform and it's giving you some issues. We can check yeah. it out. Together. So solamente recordemos la estructura. El if va a la par de pasado perfecto, have plus past participle. La plataforma muchas veces tiene problemas con esta estructura cuando son eh, negativas, when it's negative. Solamente revisen que eh, 
Si no se los está aceptando, puede ser por el apóstrofe, porque el clavo lo tienen en español y debería estar en inglés. Eh, porque el apóstrofe cambia de forma, no sé si ya se fijaron. Um, so es como lo más común. Now take a look at this. Number one says, if she had checked the stock market reports, she wouldn't have lost so much money. What about number two? If thin, so necesito acá, pasado perfecto. What can I use in number two, guys? If team, a high is negative. So had, hadn't, y solamente revisen que este apóstrofe, mi teclado ahorita es en español, entonces el, el apóstrofe que me da, da como una especie de espacio. Just make sure that it's English uh, keyboard. So hadn't attended the meeting, And that would be it, right? So that is part number one. And the second part, miss. ¿Qué necesito in the second part, guys? Good. Good. Well, well, acá puedo utilizar would, puedo utilizar could or should. Utilizamos would. Would. Have. If he hadn't attended the meeting, good. he would. Mm, podemos usar would. Would, like, él hubiese perdido la oportunidad. So he would. Oh. Presente perfecto, have missed. missed. So missed. he would have missed. Because it says, if Tom hadn't attended the meeting, he would have missed. Él hubiera perdido. He would have missed the chance to get a promotion. So that would be it. Guys, number three. Can you help me with number three, please? If the agent hubiera escuchado, if the agent had listened. Mm -hmm. Acá no tenemos no, podemos hacerlo positivo. If the agent had listened, eso es todo, right? That would be attentively. And we have he understand. Él hubiera entendido al cliente. He go would understood. Pero me falta algo. Have yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. So he would have understood. So if he had listened uh, more attentively, he would have understood the customer. Mm -hmm. That is the one. Number four, guys. Ayúdenos con la cuatro, guys. Help us with number four. If Frank uh, had knew. Had. El participio, no? No, new. None. None, yes. So if Frank had known. You were at the office, si él hubiera sabido, if Frank had known you were at the office, he, él te hubiera dicho, he, he would have, uh -huh. he would have, told tell, toy, exactly, and that's it. So if Frank had known, I'm sorry, I can't, no me escribió la N, give me one sec. No sé por qué no me tomo. Okay, there we go. If Frank had known you were at the office, he would have told you uh, stay and work late hours, right? So that is the one. Number five. Do you have number five? Number five is negative. If the company hadn't invested, invested. Mm -hmm. so hadn't. Invested, okay, in a new building. We couldn't have. Nosotros hubiéramos tenido. We would have. Would have. Have. Have, exactly. We would have had. Mm -hmm. Nosotros ya hubiéramos tenido. So we would have had. Yes. Um, guys, no sé si están trabajando de una sola vez en The Platform, si la están yeah. revisando, ¿les está, ¿les está marcando incorrecto? Yes. Um, yes. Todas ellas. Uh, dice la instrucción si van a utilizar mayúsculas. Can you check out really quick? Perdón, si van a usar contracciones. Uh, it don't say type the complete sentence again. Type the complete sentence. I'm going sentence. to try it without wouldn't and would not. Okay, give me one second. 
Nope. <laughs> it's not working. Um, what is the exercise? Section two, number three, right? Yeah. Wait a second, give me one sec. Wait. Let me just see if it works. Okay, section two, exercise number three. Mm, okay, so let's apply conflict one, two, three. Okay. Uh, remind me, guys, please. ¿Qué número de tarea es? What is the number? 2.8. Okay. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Yes, 2.8. The second part. Oh, this is weird. I have something different. Wait a sec. Oh, okay. So, um, según la instrucción there, tiene que escribir la, eh, toda la oración, no solamente mm -hmm. las respuestas, right? Yes. But you're supposed to write the whole thing. Están intentando escribirla toda. Yes. Y aún así It's no right. les funciona. Mm -hmm. In my case, no. Veamos algo. Let's give it a try. Eh, para la número uno, le voy a escribir acá. Let me write it here. Y copiala y pégala, guys. Así como okay. aparece acá, please. Creería que entonces sí es por los apóstrofes. Probably es en la contracción de um, ver, wouldn't. No, no, al menos en, en otros ejercicios no se ha podido hacer como contracción. Mm -hmm. Lo que sucede mm -hmm. es que I don't, I don't know what's grown, you know, what, what's really run no. about it. It's not working? Yes, yes, teacher. Oh, okay. 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 So, entonces, sí, guys, es por las contracciones. It's because of the contraction. Um, so, si les, si les da problema nuevamente, if it's giving you some issues, um, let me see. Wait. Hadn't attended. Da, 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 da. Sí, es por las contracciones, porque también en las positivas pide que escriban contracciones. Por ejemplo, en vez de if she had... So, vamos a escribir algo como if, she, y utilizamos apostrofe D en vez de have. Entonces, sus respuestas es, pueden que estén bien, you know, pero solamente es por el apostrofe. Um, so, give it a try, guys. Y si le sigue dando error, eh, lo revisamos mañana. We check it tomorrow. Y les ayudo con esas porque puede ser solamente el, el apostrofe. The one that is giving us some problems. All right. Um, Guys, ya tomé una captura de, de pantalla para la asistencia del día de ahora, so no worries. Um, thank you so much, guys, for being here. Chicos, tenemos clases mañana. We're having classes tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> And, uh, pero hopefully, el día 2 creería que no. Les confirmo el día de mañana, right? But lo más seguro es que we are not having classes. So thank you so much, guys. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a really good night. I send my, my homework. Oh, yes. La recibí, pero no la he escuchado todavía. Let me listen to that. Y cualquier okay. feedback, se lo, se lo escribo, miss. Thank you so much. Wendy. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank Have you. a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. See you. Where are you?